So you'll notice about the game Agony, all the mouths and the teeth and the gums, is because every word you speak is a magic spell. You learned spell casting in school, and you took your test with your number two shit pencil. You sit in a pew, it's the ash trailing light coming out of the black hole sun, and everybody only focuses on total shit and lies, the space station and all that. It's all fake, everything's fake. There's a dome up there. The earth is not floating through space as an accident. You're not made for monkeys. Everything you think that you know to be true is the reverse of truth. The devil already has your soul in the Vatican and your parents gave it up willingly. Now you're lost at sea, you're officially dead. By legal definition, you're a monster with no inheritable blood. You don't have to like it, but you're living the game agony right now. So you see here, Lucifer represents life, thought, Progress, civilization, liberty, independence. Lucifer is the Logos, the serpent, the savior. And this is the Aurora Borealis. This is the green astral jet shooting out of the black hole sun. You bow your head in prayer to the black sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the black sun. You throw your point at the wishing well for the black sun. It is Lucifer who is the god of our planet, or the goddess, and the only god. And she continues, you see this, as the celestial virgin. So every compass is pointing inward to the center of the dish. This is where Jesus the Sun places his light into the hole and out from the hole comes the Aurora Borealis, the goddess of the earth, the earth's memory, the celestial virgin, which thus becomes the mother of gods and devils at one. So I'm explaining to you, this is the infinite potential. Whatever you set your mind to, your intent and your will, it's like intent is the trigger and your will is the bullet or something like that. What I'm saying to you is that she is the loving, beneficent deity, and Lucifuge, Lucifer, Luciferius. She is the goddess of the earth, the Aurora Borealis, the Holy Ghost. You know, I spilt up my blood into the earth, asking the Great Spirit for guidance, and this is what's guiding me. She showed me her holy hole and how to take over the universe. And I'm telling you, if you don't place your blood beside my own, you're not getting into the Garden of Eden. It's just that simple. You need to be published. Side by side, blood is thicker than water. Or you ain't coming with me. You'll be on your own. I bet you, you bet your fucking ass on it.